Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fall haul. Um, I don't know about you guys, but whenever a new season comes, I feel like I have nothing to wear. So I have been doing quite a bit of shopping. Um, as you can tell from the title, it's going to be a try-on haul. I'm going to tell you where I got it, the price, the size, and yeah, um, I have a decent amount of stuff. So let's just jump right into it. As always, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out a lot and yeah I don't really think I have anything else to say so let's just get started. Um, I'm gonna start with Forever 21 because the first thing is the thing that I'm wearing it is this kind of just like dark blue dark blue dark blush um, sweater and it's really cute it's really comfortable it was from Forever 21 I think I just said that it was a medium and it was $15.90 which is pretty affordable um, I got a medium because I like my sweaters a little bit oversized. You could probably go for a small if you like your sweaters to be more fitted. Or, I mean, I guess if you're my size, go for a small. You can size up if you like things to be a little bit more oversized and comfortable for the fall and winter, which I do. And I'm pretty happy with this. Um, it's from Forever 21, so the quality isn't amazing, but it's also not terrible. The next thing I got from Forever 21 is this gray sweater, which I really love. It has the, like, cold shoulder look, which I am obsessed with for some reason right now. Um, this was also from Forever 21. It was medium and $19.90. This definitely size up a little bit because it's a little bit fitted. I might cut off the bottom hem, but I haven't decided yet. I might wear it once like this and see if I like it. I just got um, two v-neck camis from Forever 21. I get these extra small. They're $1.90. I didn't try them on because they're just like the basic like tight tank tops. I wear them under stuff pretty much, but I did get two of these, one white, one black. Like I said, they're $1.90. I think this got me over my shipping minimum, but I can't actually remember. The last thing I got from Forever 21, it actually might be my favorite, and it is just this black t-shirt. Um, it has like this acid splatter detail on the front, not on the back, and it has obviously the tie-ups. I'm obsessed with this trend. I think it's so sexy and cute, and you can wear it anywhere. It really works daytime, nighttime, dress it up, dress it down, whatever. I'm big into stuff that I can just wear from the minute I wake up until the minute I get to sleep. This I got in a small because I did not want it to be oversized. It was $19.90, which really isn't so bad. Um, I feel like Forever 21 is getting a little pricier. I don't shop there as much, to be 100% honest with you, but I am really happy with all these things. I did order it online. I'm generally not a huge fan of ordering off Forever 21 online because you kind of have to guess with your sizing and as we all know their return policy is terrible but this time it actually worked out. I'm not returning any anything and everything looks really good and fits perfectly. I'm just going to show you guys the one thing that I got from boohoo.com which is actually a favorite website of mine. I just got this sweater which I'm having a hard time showing you but like you'll see the try on clip. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like this uh, marbled grayish brownish color with the leather, fake leather, very fake. If you could feel it, it's very fake. It has the detailing around the collar and the sleeves. And I actually really like this. I think this is going to be really cute for fall and even maybe winter. It's a little thin. It's definitely thinner than I thought it was going to be, but that works out fine because I can wear it more um, when it's a little bit warmer outside. I ordered actually a bunch of stuff from Boohoo and I had to return like most of it because it didn't fit properly. Their sizing is literally so weird but their return policy is good so I sent that stuff back and I'm probably gonna place another order soon because honestly I'm obsessed with that website I'm gonna link it down below I highly recommend you check it out if you've never shopped there before moving on I went to Urban Outfitters um, that's another place that I just don't shop very much anymore I used to shop there like everything I owned was from there in high school but I haven't gone there in a long time I just got two things they were on sale um, so I don't remember how much oh I actually have the receipt here I'll show you okay so <laughs> starting off I got this gray tank top um, again, it's kind of hard to show, but you'll see the try on it crisscrosses in the front and it's just like very drapey and I thought it would be a good layering piece. And then I got to this scarf, which I actually saw it was in the dressing room on like a clearance rack. And it's just kind of like this big, like blanket style scarf, which I'm very into. I like just like wrapping them around me and basically being in a blanket all day because what's wrong with that? Um, I like that the colors are neutral. I generally will try to buy color and then find that I don't wear it. So you're gonna notice a theme of a lot of black, white, and gray throughout this haul. I apologize if that bothers you, but if you're somebody like me and you don't like exploring with color, you'll definitely understand that it's not even worth it to waste the money. Like I said, those were both on sale. The top came out to $6 and the scarf came out to $4. So I spent like $10 and that was pretty awesome. So the last place, which is actually the first place that I went in the mall is Express. I love Express. They were having a like 40% off sale. I find that they're pretty overpriced, but they are also generally running some big promotions. So keep your eye out for that online and then go into the store if there's one near you because I really like their stuff. It's not amazing quality, but it is good quality and it's really, really cute. So the first thing I got, I've already worn. So I'm gonna have to turn that right side in. 
So it's another one of these lace up tees. I really, really like this one. The one from Forever 21 is a little bit more cropped. This one is definitely like a full length t-shirt. Wore this the other day and it was just, it's so soft. It was super comfortable, really, really cute. I got a lot of compliments on it. Um, I'm not sure what it says on it. If you know what this says, leave a comment down below because I don't know what it says. It's literally cut off in the middle. I think it says heartbreaker, but who knows? It's very, very cute. I'm a big fan of this. And like I said, I really like this trend. Very soft, comfortable shirt and I'm all about it. So I'm going to be wearing this pretty much to death. I don't know what this like weird shadow being cast across me is, but we're just going to like keep rolling with it because I just noticed it. Um, the next thing that I got is this gray long sleeve shirt. Like I said, a lot of gray, a lot of black, a lot of white. That's just how I live my life. I like to wear neutrals. Um, it's a long sleeve shirt and this is what it looks like. Very basic, just like a ribbed shirt. This is literally so soft. I'm not even going to be able to explain it in a way that does it justice. These things should also be in stock because I just went shopping like the last few weeks. So I highly recommend that you go to Express and touch this very soft shirt and probably buy it because it's just so comfortable. It's gonna be so soft. It's like a lightweight material. So you're not gonna get like sweaty and disgusting but I really really like that I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of that I already know it I got another I have like I just buy the same thing like in three different ways I got another one of these cold shoulder shirts this one is plaid like I said it's from Express it's very lightweight material um, and yeah it's kind of like a longer shirt so I can wear it with leggings just realized I haven't been telling you sizes and prices for these things um, this plaid shirt is a small and it was $59.90 the sale is 40% off so do that math if you'd like. Um, this is very, very cute. As you can see, the tag is still on it. I have not worn it yet, but definitely gonna wear this a lot. I really like it. Um, good with leggings and combat boots. I feel like it's pretty much gonna be the way that I wear it. Uh, this gray sweater was a medium and it was $29.90 plus the 40% off. And then I took the tag off of this one. It is a small and I believe it was $34.99 before the sale. The last thing that I got from Express is like so not something I would normally wear but I actually really like it. Um, kind of goes with the same theme of being in a blanket all day. It is just this large 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 beige sweater and this is just so like oversized and comfortable. Um, it has this very cute like tie detail on the side. It has pockets. It's like soft. It's cozy. Everything you could want for the colder weather. Um, I sized up in this I believe. What did I get in this? I got a small. I definitely could have gotten an extra small. I really like um, Express's sizing because it runs very large. So if you are somebody who cares about the tag, I really don't. But I mean, if you're somebody who likes to fit into a size smaller than you would normally be, definitely check out Express. Um, this was $69.90 before the sale. In total, I think I spent like $100 at Express, which for like Four items of good quality clothing, especially sweaters, I feel like get really expensive. I thought it was very much worth it. Um, I also have like an Express Next card, which means that I get rewards and points and whatever. Um, I have been very into Express. I used to just get kind of like business casual clothing there, but now I really, really like it for day-to-day -day stuff. The last things that I have, I don't actually have yet. I ordered two pairs of shoes online. I got the Sam Edelman, I think they're called the Tinsley Rain Boot, and I got those in like a maroon color. I'm just gonna put a picture up on the screen because like I said, they have not been delivered yet. They're out for shipment. They've been out for shipment for like a few days, but I just wanted to get this video up today. And I mean, a shoe looks the same on everyone. So I'm just gonna show you a picture of that. And then I got the Franco Sardo Chelsea booty or something and the color I will put it right here because I'm not sure what it is but those look like they're going to be great I really wanted something that was more in between a casual and a nice shoe so I could dress it up or dress it down I'm really excited for those to come those are supposed to get here tomorrow but again I have no patience and I want to upload this video so yeah Okay guys, that is all I have for you for today. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a fall morning routine and my shoe collection going up soon. For the shoe collection, I am waiting for my rain boots and my other booties to get in. So that should be up at some point next week, just kind of depending. I think they're supposed to get here on Monday. So that should be filmed and up by Wednesday or Thursday. So keep your eyes open for that. I did have a request for it. So I'm really excited about that video. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.